Hi, I'm Emmanuel, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to plan your videos from start to finish. This is the Sushi Vid Creator Masterclass. Let's begin. Now, and welcome back. Now, this is the intermediate section of this Creator Masterclass. If you are new here, this is actually a full playlist from beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Anyways, getting into this video, why do you need to plan your videos? Because to some of you who are watching who are not creators, it looks like as if people just do this right off the bat. But it's actually a bit more complex than that. Now, the first reason you need to plan is to have a good overview of the video you plan to make. Because for many videos, you think it's simple like this, but it actually involves a lot of components. So having a plan makes it super easy for you to know what you have to do. The second reason is to reduce the mistakes you make while on camera right now. So if you have a plan, it's much more easier for you to know what you want to say, when you have to say it. In fact, right now I'm actually using uh, a notes I made from uh, software I'm going to be introducing to you later in this video. Third reason is to avoid forgetting any important thing now many times when we talk to the camera you know we you know get caught up in the moment we actually forget some important things we were supposed to say now if you have a plan that will definitely not happen because it will be right there on your plan that you know you have to say this so that is the third reason why the fourth and final reason is to have a logical flow to your video so when you're planning it you can sort of know that okay this is what I'm going to do in production this is what I'm going to do in post-production or editing and this is what I'm going to do when I'm you know talking right now like when I'm talking right now I know that okay I want this lower section to be for lower thirds so I give a bit of space but if I did not plan that out I will just shoot and eventually discover like oh I don't have space to put anything down here so production I mean planning is really important now that I've told you about you know how important planning is now what are the tools you actually need to get started now, I'm going to be splitting it into two sections here now the first is well the trusted pen and paper now with pen and paper you're able to map out everything and if you are someone who is creative you're actually able to you know draw out your storyboards and you know draw out all what you need at the time you need it now the second method is uh, digitally online now I found out that while pen and paper is good for most of the time or some of the times for other times it actually runs into limitations like let's say you want to collaborate with someone else or you want to really uh, uh, nail down what you're trying to do which is where digital tools come into play so for me personally I actually love Google Docs so with Google Docs I can actually write I can collaborate with someone else you know if uh, I run Geekception a YouTube channel here and you know I can you know edit with my co uh, what do you call it presenter and we can do things together but if it's for more informal videos I use something like the notes app on my phone or most uh, uh, recently Google Keep so uh, you know it's also synchronized to the cloud I also use another tool for mind mapping which is actually what I used to generate the script for this video called Mila Note. now with Mila Note, you can actually brainstorm you can you know uh, put things together you can use arrows and everything and when you are done you can actually just export that file and it becomes a script just like that so super super nice tool there so after knowing all of these tools what do you include in your plan if you are planning for a shoot well the first is a brief or in-depth detail of the shoot what is the shoot about you know what do you want to do with the shoot what do you want to accomplish second is important details for your shoot now depending on what kind of a channel you have or what kind of video you want to make make sure you list the important things you want in the video and the third thing is the shot list so what kind of shots do you want do you want a medium shot do you want a wide shot this is something you can specify in uh, the brackets or in you know some way or another to let perhaps you're not the one that's going to be shooting your video but if there are high chances you're shooting your video and you're shooting a lot of videos you might forget that okay this shot I want it to be like this so having a short list is always a good thing and finally any important detail that you want in your shot which depending on again depending on what kind of a video you want to make will you know really really come into play here so that's basically been it uh, for a quick recap of this video a plan is really really important because it actually guides the direction of your video number two it saves you time you know it saves you a lot of effort you're going to be putting you know into wasting time maybe reshoot or uh, taking your lines over and over and over again and the talking third 
here am I making a mistake? Well, the third thing is the fact that, you know, you can actually use tools, especially online tools. If you're someone who likes to, you know, draw, you can you know, also use that in your hand or write lists or, you know, some people use uh, uh, online. I use online a lot. You can use that to actually plan all your shots and everything. And that's basically been it for this video, how to plan your shot. And the most important thing many people don't realize is that when you plan your shot before you actually even shoot, it actually helps when you're editing because when you're editing, you don't have to do any work. You literally just have to put everything. That's why I said it creates a logical flow. You just have to put everything you've shot in the order you've shot it and the video comes out super nice. It still takes time, but you don't have to do as much work and you don't have to do as much reshoots. Anyways, that's basically been it for this video. If you learned anything, let me know in the background. The link to Miller Note, Google Docs, Google Keep, and all of that will be in the description of this video. So you can find out down there. My name is Emmanuel. You know, I also have my own YouTube channel, Geekception. And you should also check out SushiVid if you're a creator here. Uh, you know, it connects SushiVid, connects brands and creators, awesome creators like you to be able to get, you know, jobs here on uh, uh, if you YouTube or Instagram or, you know, other social media networks. So that's basically been it. Check out other videos in the playlist and I shall catch you next time. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.